how's it going? I need a shower, but I'm feeling really good right now because I'm working on a song and it looks really cool. I mean, it looks really cool outside, but it sounds really good. We've got some good lighting right here. Um, but I came here to talk to you about if there's a skill, if there's something that you want to do in life, don't say it. Don't tell people that you're going to do it. Just do it. Don't say it. Do it. I like that bracelet. But your mind is a database. I like to think of it as this storeroom for information. That If you want to learn a skill and if you're at the starting point where you haven't started anything and then you want to, you know, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. Like for me, making music and I see you know, the end of the tunnel, making extreme quality music, you know, being able to play shows and I'm, I'm working towards that. But it's like every time I, I learn another skill, it like I'm trying to do something on my program and then look up a YouTube tutorial that tells me how to do that, then I can take that and I implement it, I apply it to the song that I'm working on, whatever I'm trying to do. And it it's almost like that, that information, that knowledge, that know-how locks into my brain it's like i now i know how to do it and if i forget it i learn it, how to do it again and then i it locks in, in even further because that neural pathway was already there to begin with but if there's that's just my life if there is something that you want to do in your life and you're at the starting zone you have to realize that one it's a marathon not a sprint this is going to take a long time and two the only reason people who are at the finish line or what you would perceive as the finish line, how like I see big name artists playing shows is kind of like almost the finish line. I don't ever think there's really a finish line, but you know, it's just life. It just keeps going. But the only difference between you and them is they have spent the time learning the skills and implementing them to get where they are today. You need to Slowly but surely, every single day, learn just a small little thing. It will take time. The more you learn, the faster you'll get there. But you can't try to learn everything at once. It's not going to happen. It's not going to... It's less effective to try to learn everything in a short period of time. Or, regardless, it's less effective to try to learn everything at once compared to... This one thing, you were just diving in and dissecting it. You were figuring it out. You were analyzing it, making sense of it. You were taking the information. You were applying it. You were analyzing it. You were making you were making sense of it. It's now make it's now implemented in your mind and your brain. And like this is an example with me making music. I learned something with I learned something new. I apply it, and it's just second nature to me. It becomes locked into my mind. And so next time I come across the problem where, oh, I need to do something, which that information could be useful, I go, oh, I know how to do that. I don't have to look up a tutorial how to do that. I just instantly know, oh, I th I've done this before. So it takes time and patience to learn all the skills or learn all the knowledge that you need and want to learn to do whatever you want to do with your life. But you have to want it. If, cause I've, I've caught myself, you know, I want to learn how to do this little thing in my program. And then all of a sudden I'm watching the YouTube tutorial for it. And then I don't, I'm not really paying attention. So I'm like, wait, no, I didn't. Kind of, I wasn't. I wasn't actively engaged. There we go. You need to actively engage with what you're trying to learn. You need to sit there in the present moment, focusing on what you're watching, what you're doing. Pay attention so that you can learn. That. So you're like literally storing it away. A lot of things in life can be done unconsciously, passively. You know, you can go. You can. A lot of people drive a car passively because they've done it so much it's like when you when you do it so much it becomes second nature you just drive a car and you're not thinking about it that's why a lot of times people drive somewhere and then they get somewhere and then they if you ask them what was a something 
interesting that you remember on the drive from your place to my place or whatever. And they, nine times out of ten, might not know what anything interesting happened on their way home or way over there. Because they weren't paying attention. They weren't actively engaged with the drive. They weren't actively paying attention to, to the surroundings, to the cars around them. They were just kind of spaced out in their own world. So that just applies to every single thing you do. You know, your brain has a limited amount of power until you sleep and regain that during the day. But save your brain power for what means most to you. Like, if you go to work, like, when I was working at Papa Murphy's, you know, I would go there and I would just, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing. So I was, like, actively trying to learn how to make all these pizzas. And then slowly, I just kind of knew. So I was like, oh, I know the drill. I walked in there and I'm a boss, you know, like, and then you just whip out the dough and then you put all the stuff on it and then boom, you're set. And then you wrap it up, put it away, give it to the customer. And then the the cash register, I didn't know how to do that. And then I was like, done. I know how to do that. So, I mean, it's like you learn something. It's This is for everything. You're learning how to drive. The first time you learned how to drive, you weren't sitting there like, oh, man, I got this. The first time I learned how to drive, I was sitting there like my dad's like, all right, let's go. We went to the end of the driveway. I was like, I'm comfortable with the driveway. And he's like, all right, let's go on the road. Let's go to the mailbox. And I'm like, oh man, I was not ready. But I just took the leap of faith or I didn't even, I was forced to. So I just went onto the road and started going, you know, 20 miles an hour. And I'm like, oh my God, like it was intense. I was scary. I was actively focused on driving that car because I didn't want to die. I didn't want to crash. <laughs> The wheel was in my control and I didn't want to mess that up. So everything that you learn, like when you're a kid, you're learning how to read everything in your life. You're actively engaged with learning it. Like learning comes from active engagement. After you've learned it, you don't need to actively engage with it anymore unless you want to further your education on that subject or whatever it may be. So that's all I'm trying to say right here. I don't, I don't want to make this too long and drag it on, but just to wrap it up, actively engage with what you're trying to learn so that you can put that information away in your head and kind of build up your database of knowledge and know-how to completely easily just own the game of whatever you're trying to do in your life, whatever, what, you know, whether it be business or art or you know whatever whatever you're doing with your life just like me with my music so anyways i hope you all have a great day i hope it's nice where you're at where you're living at if it's not still enjoy it anyways because you're still alive and you're watching this video if you're watching this video i really appreciate you i love you i hope you have a great day and peace out